Hi Ari, it's Travis in here, and today we are going to be doing Set the Calls, and the goal is to get our swift flight form. And to do that, we have to summon the Raven Lord. So let's do it. What swift flight form is, it gives you 280% speed flight form, which is the fastest you can fly in the game at the moment. As a druid. And we are going to be healing today. That is the plan. Should be pretty damn easy. Druids got some decent gear. Pretty much full black temple. We got a nice paladin here. Who made the group for us because he wants to get a chance to roll on the Raven Lord. Maybe we'll get a Raven Lord now, who knows? That'd be kind of cool. All the people in here will get a chance at it. We also have a, a new ability that's really good, Wild Growth. It's like instant cast, day we heal. So strong in Wrath. And druids don't have uh, tree form anymore in Wrath, I think. Like, I tried to find it, but I couldn't find it. So I think tree form's gone. See, this is when you use wild growth. I can. Oh, he died. That sucks. Did I B-res him? No. Let's save the B-res. I'm getting, like... Silence and all that crap. It's all good though. We'll res. Oh, it's getting res by the paladin. That's awesome. I wonder if we have any water on us. Got some food. I think I have water. Even though it doesn't matter. We got innervate. We'll just innervate ourselves. And our our mana regen's so high that it doesn't really matter. Here, I'll put a scroll of spirit on me. Increase our mana regen by even more. Oh, looks like we have a more powerful spell active. All right, let's buff everybody up here. Kind of forgot about that. I haven't played my druid in a long time, guys. There we go. Everybody's buffed up. I could probably put uh, thorns on him too. There we go. Now he's got some thorns up on him. Should help his threat, even though I don't think he needs it. But yeah, I plan on playing my Druid in Wrath eventually. Probably after uh, I get my Rogue up first. And we'll probably we're obviously going to do a Let's Play for Flag Carrier. I always nice always do one for him. So I'm thinking about going balance this time. Should be fun. All right, time to do a little wild growth. Look at that heat. Look at that AoE healing, dude. Look, they got completely wrecked there. Loot Bodge, I did. I did loot the Bodge. Oh my gosh, dude. I looted it. Okay, this thing's messed up. Oh man, it's so annoying. Now I got this Loot Bodge thing up. It's a weak or I have that tells me to loot my, uh... We're just gonna get rid of that. See you later. Tells you to loot badges. Sometimes you forget. It's a good weak or to have. Weak ores are awesome. I recommend looking into them if you've never used weak ores in WoW. You help out a decent amount. And there's a website with a bunch of them called uh, wago.io. That's where I get most of mine. W-A-G-O.io, I believe it's called. 
could be wrong, but I, it's something or like that. I, I'm pretty sure it's Wago.io. I haven't been on there in a while. <laughs> but uh, I will probably be checking it out when Wrath comes out. We like barely lose mana, <laughs> dude. Like it's it's hilarious. These dungeons are a joke. And you have to do this on heroic you, if you want to get it. It has to be heroic set the calls, and at the moment you need the Akanai key to get in. And to get the Akanai key, you have to buy it from a vendor in uh, Shatrath in Lower City. And you also need lower, your lower city rep at Revered. And I also have this, uh... Some more of this materials. Hands the goods I need to summon the Raven God. Do I have a dispel? I probably do, I just... I just forgot. <laughs> Is that it right there? Remove curse? That's probably it. Try to get the next fear, see if I'm still getting used to my keybinds here. What happens when you're an altaholic? <laughs> yeah, you just forget. Your keybinds and all the, and even some like small intricate stuff about the class you used to play. But yeah, we're going so fast. This is the room we need to be in. This is where we use the, the items to summon, summon the the Raven God. It looks like you can. I can only keep. Light bloom on one target. That's interesting. I guess that's a wrath thing. You used to be able to light bloom like as much as you can. It's kind of wild. All right, let's open this little box. This little thing here we got. We got a little letter. Since your departure from Evergrove, a lot of pages. I'll have to. Maybe we'll check that out later. After I summon him, probably should have read that while we were running through here. They do a little bit of DPS. Yeah, they're on me for some reason. Nice. Beautiful bop. Do a little hurricane. Some damage in there. Alright. 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 Drink up. What the heck was that? There we go. This will give them thorns again. That's it. This priest is like not drinking, whatever. Alright, summoning the Raven God, guys. Let's do it. Let's get a screenshot of this. It's kind of badass. Coming down, guys. We're gonna be flying fast in Wrath. Real fast. Once we get that, uh, Northern flying. There he is, the Raven Lord. Anzu. Pain will be your price of insolence. You cannot stop me from claiming the Emerald Dream is my own. Whoa. I think he's okay, dude. Like, I'm just gonna take another picture here. Awaken my children, you can assist your master. Oh, it's kind of lame that he's in, like, some shadow mode. It's 
kind of try to get a picture of him, like, looking all nice and stuff. Can get AOE it. incoming. AOE incoming. Here comes my AOE. Feel the wrath of my AOE. <laughs> Good old DBM. Oh, look at the Raven Lord, dude. We're gonna wreck him so fast. I better get a picture quick. Damn, he does the stinking thing again, dude. Can't even get a nice picture of him. Goes into this, like, tranquil form. He's gonna die so fast out of that. AOE incoming. There yeah, comes my AOE. Get stunned again. There's our chance. Oh, get a picture. So, oh, wow, there we go, guys. <laughs> Didn't drop. Loot Bosch. I thought I got rid of that. Okay. Is that it? Vanquish the Raven Lord. Okay, now we have to return. Yeah, we did it. Okay, there we go. Now we just got to return. To that guy in Zangermarsh, and we're done. It's too bad that the mount didn't drop, guys. That would have been epic. Okay, slash weak or I gotta get rid of this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete it. Trinkets, yes. Pretty trinkets. Okay. Delete it. Great power. There we go. Power in trinkets. Find shelter. No, oh, no. I wonder if I can take it as a. I'm gonna think of that. I took it like a champ. Find shelter. Tank. Tank took that. I can just sit through that. Find shelter. I wouldn't even move if I was a tank. Just stay on the boss. <laughs> Keep aggro. I guess we'll not oh, we got an achievement, heroic ethicals. How about that? Okay, we're gonna greet all the all the stuff. And then we are going to uh Yeah, we're gonna get out of here heard that here. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Alright. That was a fast little run. Got that done quick. Look at all the people in Feralina. It's crazy. And now we are going to be heading off to Zangamash. And we will be going around here, I think. Where do we gotta go? In Scenarian Refuge. We're just gonna take a flight there. And I'll check out this uh, little document that we got. The Naru have not forgotten us. Go to the Swamp Rat Post. We can't. Get on there, well shape shift. Be kind. Okay, so let's check this out, guys. Let's check out this little story. Since your departure from the Evergrove, I've continued my studies of the Book of the Raven, and I've discovered some information that will help you defeat the Raven God. Freeing the spirits has bound them to you, so I expect they will freely offer their assistance in the fight against the Raven God. When you first unleash the spirits, they will be dormant as they have been for centuries. Using your heal over time spells, you can infuse them with energy, bringing them to life and gaining their aid in combat. When the magic fades, they will return to their slumber. What follows is a collection of my notes on each bird spirit. The Falcon Spirit. The spirit of the Falcon is imbued with incredible speed and energy and agility. Highly regarded among the Arakoa for its keen hunting skills, it will lend you a measure of its speed in spellcasting and melee combat if you energize the spirit with a heal over time spell. 
the eagle spirit. Erico in tradition holds that the eagle spirit was not as fast as the falcon brother, but possessed the greatest skill in the hunt. The eagle spirit will use its skills against your enemies if you use a heal over time spell to awaken it from its slumber. The tablet speaks highly of the hawk. as though he might have once been in league with the raven. An ancient Arakoa symbol for vengeance, the hawk spirit was often invoked by victims of wrongdoing. Using a heal over time spell to awaken the spirit will allow you to share in its power, damaging those who do harm to you. And that's it, that's Arthorn's research. And uh, yeah, now I gotta find him, he's just over here. Right here in Cenarian Refuge, guys. Let's show you where it is. It's where you pick up the quest. This is where you turn what it in. What news from Seth Calls? Have you defeated Anzu? It is good to see you again, Flag Carrier. You triumph over the Raven God counts for far more than any test or rite of passage that I might set for you. You have truly proven yourself worthy of the knowledge guarded by the druids of the Talon for countless generations. Look at that, we get a nice little relic and some gold and swift flight form. Oh yeah. Look at this, guys. We got. And now we're zooming. We're zooming now. Looks like our feathers got a little bit darker, too. Oh yeah, we're zooming now, guys. And we'll be able to pick herbs like no other when Wrath of Lich King comes out. But we'll be competing with all the other birds that are doing the same thing. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's how you get Swift Flight Form. That's how you summon the Raven Lord. And I am going to be calling this little episode here. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.